What's good, y'all? It's your boy, Sean Peter Blunt got Hey! And we are back with another Berserk chapter read-through. Today, we will be reading through chapter 21. Now, I'm not too sure uh, what you got, like, the novel you guys read, how you guys read, but chronologically, this is chapter 21, but... The title of this chapter is Nosferatu Zod chapter four for you guys who might be reading the book. That might be easier. But yeah, before we get into that, make sure you guys hit that like button. Also subscribe, hit that bell for notifications. Also comment down below. Let me know what your thoughts on the read through. Let me know your thoughts on the chapter as well. Do you like the beard? Let me know down in the comments below. Make sure you follow me on Twitch so you could engage with me live as I read these in real time and engage with me in real time. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. And make sure you also join the Discord. Come be a part of the community. Anyway, let's get to it though. All right, so. Let's get into the chapter. Again, this is chapter 21. Chronologically, chapter 21. The title of this chapter is Nosferatu Zod chapter 4. And in the cover page, we see a picture of Griffith on his horse with his sword. His hair is kind of covering his mouth. It's like flowing in the wind and everything but yeah you know that's pretty much the cover page next page all right so we got zod it's a very menacing picture of zod looking at griffith and guts boy this, this might be i'm i'm predicting that griffith and guts are going to have to team up Pretty much kills Zod. I think he's just that that big of a deal. I don't think they're gonna be able to escape without fighting him first. It's it's just you know, and can are they gonna be able to kill him or are they gonna have to like put him down enough to give him time to escape? Come up with some type of escape strategy. I don't know, but uh, this is looking a little bleak for these guys. So. Zod says, fight. Fight me until you're torn to pieces. And then, I think I think Guts and Griffiths, or one of them is, is thinking, end of the road. Uh. So we still see Pippin, Rickard, Bardo, and Casca. I'm surprised I, I, I was able to remember all their names. They're still, they're still around. And Casca says, Griffith. And we see Zod screaming. Right, that's a dope pick right there, him screaming. That's a very detailed pick. His teeth, all that. Nice. Nicely done. Nicely done. And yeah, so we see Zod. Like, I guess he's walking towards Guts and Griffith. And we, we see him, like, bump into a pillar. And the pillar is just, like, shattering. Bro. Dude is big, man. It's a big guy. It's a big guy. So we get a double page spread. Griffith asks Guts, can you move? We're dead if I don't, says Guts. And then Griffith says, you from the left, let's go. And then the two split, they both break off. And we see Griffith go towards the right. Guts go to the left. It looked like um, Zod is more, he, he's more concerned with Guts, what it looks like. And is that like blood coming from Zod? It kind of looked like blood is spilling out of his face, but I didn't see Guts attack. No, maybe, you know what? I think they're both, okay, okay, okay. Now, now I'm clear what they're doing. So Griffith slices like he slices Zod's 
left arm and guts like slices like Zod's face. Okay, so they both pretty much do a, a combo attack with guts take slicing the face and Griffith slicing his arm. So we see Zod scream out in what looks to be pain because it looks like Griffith actually slices off Zod's arm. Yeah. He slices. It looked like his arm is detached from the rest of his body. And Guts manages to like slice Zod's throat. But he didn't like cut off Zod's head though. He just slices, slices his throat. And we see Guts fall to the floor. Griffith is still on his, his feet. Where you can see the blood on the sword. On Griffith's, Griffith's sword. And then we still see the band of the Hulk. They're still there. They haven't left yet. What well, I'm shocked. They should be leaving so they're not like in the way. And... One of them say, oh, yeah, awesome. And then Griffith reaches his hand out the guts and says, come on, run for it. Bruh, I mean, hey, hey, they they are, they are uh, holding their own. They are holding their own against Zod right now. They're doing well. You know, they managed to. Which I'm shocked because when we see Guts attack Zod by himself, he could not penetrate Zod at all. But Griffith managed to slice through Zod's thick hide and cut off his his arm, right? And even even Guts managed to get a, a cut in on Zod's neck. Now, maybe that's because Zod, or maybe because that's because Guts wasn't at full strength at the time because he was getting tossed around by Zod at that point when after Zod transformed and then he tried to cut Zod and he couldn't cut through him maybe Guts just wasn't full strength at the time but they both managed to damage Zod despite Zod's tough tough exterior right and and it's more impressive especially with Griffith that he was able to manage to cut off Zod's arm. <laughs> Casca yells out, Griffith, look out behind you. And then Griffith looks and we see Zod's tail pretty much whip into to Griffith as like Griffith was trying to help Z uh, Guts up. And then Guts says, Griffith! We see Griffith get sent into a pillar. And uh, the night of the of the hawk, or the band of the hawk, are all like looking on and worry. And Casca's like holding her mouth, like you see the sweat uh, going down her face. Griffith is like, huh? And he looks, he looks to be out. Now look down. This is this is when we see Griffith's. Durability, because we know Guts is pretty durable. Guts could take on this type of damage all day. Now, I would say, at least at the moment, right? At least at the moment, Griffith is a superior fighter to Guts. When we look at just pure skill and ability to, to, to uh, you know, offense and all that stuff. But I don't know how adorable Griffith is. Now, I know Guts is very adorable. This man could just take an onslaught of damage. But could we say the same for Griffith? At least human Griffith. Now, when we talk God hand Griffith, I mean, assuming he's like a demon, right? The man could probably take a lot of damage. It's probably, he's probably, probably damn near immortal for all I know. But, when we talking human Griffith, can he get up from damage like this and keep trucking? You know, now this is only one attack though, right? This is only one uh, attack that he's been subjected to. 
from Zod, right? Guts has been taking on a lot of damage from Zod up to this point, and he's still somewhat able to continue. So, we're going to see Griffith get tested as well, because right now he's not looking too good. So, is Griffith durable? That's, that's the question I have. <laughs> so, we see Zod right behind Guts. And Guts looks back and we see this just this menacing Zod towering over Guts as he's like looking back up at him. Bruh, okay. Guts is time, man. <laughs> you already been put through the ringer. You gonna have to be put through some more. Zod says, What a day today's been that I'd meet a human. Two humans who could wound me so. And then we see Guts pick up his sword. We see Zod. It looked like he is that is that the arm he got his is that the arm that was cut off? It looked like he's throwing it at Guts. Or is this like his left his right arm and Guts is cutting it? Because it looks wounded. It looks like I'm seeing blood spilling from it, so I'm thinking this is the, the cut-off arm. And this is just the blood coming out of the cut-off arm. Okay, so yeah, this was the cut-off arm, and Zod is using it as like a, a weapon. And Zod is it's wild, despite how strong Zod is, and he don't really need to use any weapons, even with one arm, right? He's still... His other arm is still pretty powerful, right? But he's still <laughs> he's still fighting with weapons, like despite how strong he is by himself and without the use of. I mean, technically, is it using a weapon if you're using your other arm just because it was cut off? Is that technically using a weapon? <laughs> you're still using both your arms, I guess. So I mean, in a way, he's not really using a weapon. He's just using both his arms. But he hits Guts with it, and he catches him. And he sends Guts to the floor with his left arm, his dis dismembered left arm. And as I says, and that both of them will be lost at once. And we see Guts trying to get right back up. See, you see what I'm saying? We, we got Guts. Guts was just hit with an arm an arm and he's already trying to get back up whereas we haven't seen Griffith even attempt to get back up and what I just noticed is Zod is reattaching his arm bro this man has regenerate this man is able to reattach his limbs Bro, how do you defeat this man? How do you defeat this man? He is attaching his his dismembered arm, left arm. How do you how do you beat that? How do you beat that? I I feel as though Zod has been more impressive than the other apostles that we've seen and he's just a, he's like an early guts fight you know before guts got stronger like i think if zod was to fight those other guys i don't know i mean because a lot of them had regeneration abilities as well so you know maybe not so much but zod is like a, a straight fighter right like i would say to count or not to count the uh the snakehead guy I think Zod could probably beat him easily. The count, on the other hand, would probably be tough. But, no, I think Zod could probably beat them too. I don't know. Because, again, this is an early fight for Guts. But, even then, Zod just seems, he seems just like a brute. The man just seems like he's bred for war. Like, the count, he didn't, he wasn't a constantly fighting right like the only he didn't seem like he fought a lot right he, he seemed like his ability was 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 wild like he could get super big and he had all them hands and all that 
and he was strong himself. But but the, but Zod just seems like he's just just all warrior. Like he just fights and fights and fights. So his his skill just seemed like it's probably way more honed than the count. Somebody like the count. But I could be wrong. Maybe the count is way stronger. Maybe Zod is a low level apostle. Uh, you know, maybe he's a low level demon or something. So we see Zod like leaning over Griffith and he says, I'll start with this man. And then he starts reaching for Griffith. Griffith is still out, bro. Where we see guts take a lot of damage and he's still trying to get back up. Griffith is still out. I'm starting to believe that Griffith. Now, I think Griffith will eventually get up and everything. I don't think Griffith is, is fully down for the count. But. I don't think Griffith's durability is on par with Guts at the very least. His his sword skill might be superior than Guts. But I think when we talk solely durability i think guts have the advantage i think he's the winner of that casca screams griffith and i think pippin is saying it's no use casca and and then we see griffith on his side and um Zod looks shocked and he says, what? What's this? I think, I think, so I, I, cause we see Griffith's body, his body lit hanging on off his neck. And so I think that's what Zod is talking about. He sees the body lit and, you know, now he's shot. So the, the body lit might actually save these guys. <laughs> Now that I think about it, the Bahilit might be what gets these guys out of this situation. It might, it must be something about the Bahilit, where it, especially since it opens the gate to God Hand and Zod, I assume to be an apostle. So maybe, maybe apostles can't really hurt. Uh, people who are in possession of Bahilits because again, the Bahilit, it, it, it almost goes to a chosen person. You know what I'm saying? So that's what I'm assuming. And so it must be Griffith is a chosen person. So Zod would be going against maybe some law, some God hand law or some underworld law to attack someone chosen body. But, Somebody chosen by the Buhilet. So yeah, so we get a big a close up of the Buhilet. And Zod, Zod says, the egg of the king. And his eyes are like super wide. Like almost like he has fear. Like, oh sh what have I been doing? I'm 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 eff I'm effing up in the game. <laughs> I'm effing up in the game. And then even Guts is looking on a little shot. Bro, this buddy lip might be what saves these guys. The buddy lip might be what saves them. Za says, it can't be. The egg of the king. A cub like him with the crimson buddy lip? The god hand? Band of Hawk all look on. Guts looks on as well. And Za says, huh? <laughs> I, I assume he's laughing. This is this this is getting interesting. This is getting interesting because I didn't see much of a chance for these guys, but now things are falling into place, and it's, it's it seems like it's making sense. At least how they survive, at least you know. Unless Zod decides, like, you know what, I can't kill him, but I can still kill the other guy and all these other uh, soldiers. And then maybe Griffith gets up and does something like he commands Zod to stop or something. I don't know. I don't know. How do we get out of this? 
So we get a close up of Zod and he says, so it's that kind of ploy. <laughs> and then Zod punches the ceiling and like all the debris from the ceiling is falling down and we see uh, the band of the Hulk um, in front of him. Like watching him as he punched the ceiling. So we see Guts like watching as all this debris is falling. And Zod says, our battle is on hold for now, boy. But I wonder if I'll ever meet up with you again. Yeah, this is what I was kind of hoping. I was kind of hoping we see like, like maybe Zod gives Guts some time to get a little stronger. And then maybe later down the line, we see a, a much more capable uh, Guts fight. Zod, that's what it looked like we might get, man. That's what it looked like we might get. And then Zod says, here's a word of warning. No, a prophecy. If you can be said to be a true friend of this man, then take heed when his ambition collapses. What does that mean? I mean... I am i don't want to say what does that mean because obviously I think that was a, 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 a foreshadow of what we already know for Griffith to eventually do whatever he did to eventually become God Hand, right? So, but that's, that's interesting to, to try to translate what Zod could mean from that. Like, I mean, obviously it means that uh, Zod knows the fate of Griffith, you know? So, does that mean like Zod knows that Griffith is pretty much destined to betray Guts and his people, right? Guts and the band of the Hulk, right? Does that mean that in order to get the crimson egg, you already have to have that uh, evil type mindset? Like maybe, you know, Griffith always been a little shady and evil, right? Like, and 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 the fact that he has that egg is just proof for Zod. So he's like, look, your friend ain't what he's cracking up to be. If if you call him your friend. You better be careful, cause he's not he's not a, he's not a good hearted person if he has that egg. Like, like, oh, bro, like that, that's such a bro. That's such a a interesting statement to make. He said, "Here's a word of warning, no, a prophecy, meaning not not even just a warning. This is like pretty much fate." This is fated to happen or destined to happen. If you can be said to be a true friend of this man, talking about Griffith, then take heed, take my warning. When his ambition collapses, yeah, he ain't even finished what he said, and I'm already, you know, looking a lot in the way he said. We get a double page spread of Zide. He he has like these these bat type wings or these demon type wings and he says death will pay you a visit a death you can never escape bro bars death will pay so reading all that together he said here's a word of warning note of prophecy if you can be said to be a true friend of this man then take heed when his ambition collapses death will pay you a visit a death you can never escape bro zod knew what was up he already knew what was up and i love this double page spread with zod spreading his wings i didn't even know this man had wings this man just sprouted wings out of nowhere bro and he just spit some bars at guts just now like i mean pretty much for foretold what we already know to eventually happen you know 
I feel as though out of all these, this whole Zod little mini arc, this this arc right here is probably the or this chapter is probably the most important. The most important just from what we got of Zod and how he reacted when, how he reacted once he seen the body lit around Griffith's neck and and then what he said afterwards. Come on, bro. Foreshadowing. You know. Foreshadowing. Even though it cannot really call it foreshadowing if we already know what Griffith becomes. You know, but the, the the question is just how does, how do we get there? You know what I'm saying? How does, how, what are the steps of getting there? Like, cause you know, I have my thoughts on Griffith. Like, does he become that way or has he always been that way? You know, does he become like this evil guy, you know, that was willing to do it, to sacrifice his people or at least guts, as we know, you know, or was that always part of him? Man, 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 man. So we see the band of the Hawk and guts all like covering their faces as the debris falls from the ceiling. We see Zod flying in the sky after he just went through like I want to it looked like he went through like one two three about like three floors of this castle right he just flew through three floors and we see a silhouette flying in the sky with like lightning bolts you know going through this you know in the sky and then we see Guts look up as I, we see like some of the soldiers, I think this is the band of the Hulk. Um, they're looking up at the sky. They say, what's that? A demon? And then we get like a a, 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 a macro shot of the, the whole town or whatever you want to call it that they're fighting in. And we see... Zod silhouette in the sky flying off. We see like lightning. It's, I, it looks to be night at this point. You know, we see lightning in the sky. And then Guts is thinking to himself, death. You mean I'm going to die? So now Guts is kind of questioning things. I don't think he's going to be able to put two and two together to be able to predict Griffith. Becoming what he becomes, though, you know, he just he just to him. It's just like I'm a die being around Griffith. OK, so we see Casca run towards Griffith. She says, Griffith and Guts looks back. And Casca is consoling Griffith and she says, Griffith, hang on. Bruh, Griffith is still down. So that just shows me that, yeah, Griffith doesn't have durability whatsoever. <laughs> His his durability is poop. It's like any other normal human, I assume. He get he get one big hit on him and he's down for the count. Guts would have took that like a champ, man. Guts would have took that bump like a champ. And then we see Corka. And uh Corka and I wanna say is that judo? I think that might be Judo. Maybe not. Maybe not Judo. One of the other guys. He says, you okay, Captain? Oh, no, that's not Corker because he wouldn't be holding Guts. But we see uh, two of Guts's men and they're holding Guts. And and they say, you okay, Captain? Guts says, yeah, guess so. And then the one that kind of looked like Corker, he says, you're lucky to be alive. And then Guts says, forget that. How's Griffith? And, you know, he he goes towards Griffith. And then Casca, like, shoes his hand away. Like, he sh- she shoes, guts his hand away and says, don't you, tu- don't you touch Griffith. And she's crying. Why is she mad at Guts? I mean, Guts, Guts was, Guts was, uh, 
trying to protect his men by fighting Zod, right? He didn't want Griffith's help. You know, he was probably more willing to die because he ain't want he ain't want anybody else dying because because of this guy. Griffith just wanted to, had felt the need to save guts, right? I mean, she can't be mad at Griffith for that, or she can't be mad at Guts for that. Griffith made that choice. Casca says, it's your fault. This never would have happened to Griffith if it weren't for you. And we see Casca uh, crying, just tears running from her eyes. And she's holding Griffith. And that is Nosferatu Zod, chapter four, and... Bruh, great chapter, great chapter, <sighs> great freaking trap chapter, man. So, 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 we we pretty much leave off from where we ended last chapter, where Griffith was trying to help Guts and you know possibly escape, but they realized like, look, we gonna have to fight this guy. So, so Zod confronts the two. And they pretty much split off in kind of a combo attack where Griffith manages to cut off Zod's left arm and Guts managed to slice Zod in the neck. But, you know, that wasn't really enough to actually put Zod down because Zod gets back up. He, you know, as well, as Zod was, you know, writhing in pain, Griffith tries to help Guts escape. He tried to grab Guts and say, hey, let's escape. But Zod sends Griffith flying into a pillar. And that pretty much puts Griffith out for the rest of the fight. I was kind of thinking Griffith could potentially get up. But nope. Griffith was down for the count. And, and, but Guts was able to manage to get back up. And Zod pretty much attacks Guts with his, the left arm that they cut off. <laughs> And then he manages to reattach his arm. All brand new. And Zod decides to kill off Griffith first, right? I don't know why he doesn't decide to finish off Guts, but he decides to finish off Griffith. But that's when Zod sees the Bahilet around Griffith's neck. And not just the normal Bahilet, the, the Crimson but he let the egg of the king, right? And that pretty much stops Zod from like continuing his attack on Griffith. Now I don't, I, I don't know if it's for maybe because I don't know if it's because let's say let's assuming Zod is an apostle, maybe there's some law or rule or natural instinct to not kill off someone holding a crimson bahilet, you know, because it's like killing off somebody who's chosen to be a God hand. You know, I'm assuming that's what it is. You, it's like, you can't kill off somebody who's chosen to be a, a, a God hand member. Right. So I'm assuming that's what it is. So instead of continuing his attack on, you know, the band of Hulk, right? And even Guts, he he looks at Guts and say, look, I'm going to give you this prophecy. You know, that man right here is pretty much going to bring you death. You know, let me, he said, just to, just to repeat exactly what he said, because, you know, he says, here's a word of warning. No. A prophecy. If you can be said to be a true friend of this man, then take heed. When his ambition collapses, death will pay you a visit. A death you can never escape. So that was kind of like him foretelling what we know is going to eventually happen with Griffith and Guts. You know, and Guts just takes his like, you mean I'm going to die? You know what I mean? That's, that's, that's the most Guts got out of that. And so Zod stops his attack. He tells Guts like, hey, we could fight later in the future. We're going to have to put this on hold for now. I wonder if we'll ever see each other again. I'm out of here. Punches the ceiling. 
and leaves. And um, after that, the band of the Hulk goes to console Griffith. And we see Guts uh, get up. His men help him up. And he goes to check on Griffith as well. But now we see Casca. She's super emotional. And she she's not having it with Guts right now. She's not having it with Guts. She's pissed off at Guts. She, she believes that this is all his fault. Which I guess you could kind of say... To a degree it is. But, I mean, somebody had to fight uh, Zod. The man was killing off a bunch of other soldiers, you know. And Griffith just went to help to assist Guts. So, you know, it is what it is. It's battle. It's battle. What can you do? But, yeah. That's pretty much the chapter right there. Make sure you guys hit that like button. Also, subscribe. Hit that bell for notifications so you know when I go live. Also, follow me on Twitch so you can catch my reactions and read-throughs live and you can engage with me in real time. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook and come be a part of the community. Join the Discord all of these will be in a link in the description box below. Also, leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this chapter. Let me know your thoughts on Berserk in general. You know, let me know your thoughts on the read through. Yeah. Anyway, it's your boy Sean P, the Blunt Guy. Now I'm out of here. Peace. <laughs>